the tattoo i've always wanted to have a tattoo uh, you know and the tattoo story actually started when uh, uh, i was in bangkok we finished the india under 19 then we went there for for holiday and stuff like that we went to thailand and you know stuff like that mm, stuff like that yes so uh, we were there and then we sort of get what one tattoo because i always wanted to have one it was one of the one of the back tattoos just to, just to wing and then you know i don't start from there and then this is something that i then i wanted to have it i i got it about 6 years ago he's gone for it it's a six बिना वजह चुलबुल पांडे बुलाते हैं आपको आप तो चाबुक पांडे हो <laughs> जब बैटिंग करते हो ऑब्वियसली तो ये दिमाग में लेके चलना पड़ता है कि ना बॉल इज योर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग स्पेशली बैट्समैन के लिए और जब आप उसको देखते हो कि आपको तो ये होता है कि जिसको जितना दूर भेजो अपने से उतना अच्छा योर योर अ थिन गाय बट जनरेट सो मच पावर See, I think a couple of things. Okay, See, because we have practiced it so many times, you know where, uh, when to hit the ball. That's like uh, uh, timing and all that. Huh. And secondly, I think uh, a good bat is very important. You know, huh. a good piece of uh, a willow is very important to you know um, succeed in those uh, in, in in that kind of a pressure. Do you talk to your bat? Sometimes, yes, sometimes. So, what's the conversation with a bat like? I think it's uh, pretty similar to how we normally speak to our girlfriends. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially when you know we're playing matches and you know uh, when uh, uh, she's not around i think uh, the willow is the next uh, best thing <laughs> you know after that so jab bahut sare edges lag rahe ho do you tell the bat tum bade badal gaye ho tum pehle to aise na the kabhi kabhi aur bat wapas aapko bolta hai ki ha aap bhi thoda badal gaye ho jab aapke edges lagna shuru hote hain lekin but i think uh, you know it's quite important to so, yaar agar bat girlfriend ki tarah hai to nicknames bhi dete ho baby sweetie aise kuch hai isko nahi actually hum इसको इसको मैं बहुत सिंपल रखता हूँ हम नॉर्मली क्या करते हैं बैट पे मार्क करते हैं वन टू एंड थ्री सो जस्ट द नंबर्स हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी गर्लफ्रेंड्स डू हैव आई मीन हाउ मेनी बैट्स डू हैव हाउ मेनी गर्लफ्रेंड्स इन माय किट बैग या आई हैव फाइव बट नॉर्मली यू नो इट शुड इट्स ऑल्सो वेरी रोस्टिक टू वन व्हाट व्हाट्स द वेट लाइक आई थिंक इट्स अबाउट 1160 ग्राम्स आर यू एग्जैक्ट अबाउट 1160 के 11:30 चल जाता है 1150 1160 1170 भी चलेगा आई आल्सो सुपरस्टिशियस केयर इस बैट से 100 लगा तो इसी को फिर चलाते रहो हां थोड़ा सा क्योंकि आई थिंक आई हैव नॉट सीन एनी नॉट इवन वन क्रिकेटर हु इज नॉट सुपरस्टिशियस आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी हैज देयर ओन यू नो रूटीन टू फॉलो बट आई थिंक इफ आई हैव गॉट अ 100 इन द सेम बैट आई वुड लव टू यू नो गेट द सेम फीलिंग बैक द नेक्स्ट टाइम आई बैट सो वो सेंचुरीन वाला बैट कहां रखा है वो घर पे अभी रखा हुआ है वो कभी शैडो में काम आता है हम लोग शैडो प्रैक्टिस करते हैं ना तो वो बैट काम आता है जब फॉर्म की तलाश होती है हां जब फॉर्म की तलाश थोड़ा वो जब वो जोन में आने का होता है तो वो बैट बॉल काम आता है या तो एक तो नेट का बैट खोना होता है लेकिन दूसरा होता है व्हेन अ चिप कम्स ऑफ या हैंडल टूट जाता है व्हाइल यू आर बैटिंग इज दैट एज पेनफुल एज गेटिंग आउट ओ यस डेफिनेटली यू नो क्योंकि आप जब बैटिंग कर रहे हो आप उसको मैच के लिए रेडी करते हो बैट्स और जब आप देखते हो कि उसमें थोड़ा क्रैक है वो इट्स लाइक इट्स लाइक यू नो आप आपके खुद को चोट लगी है ऐसा हो जाता है कभी सिचुएशंस तो इज इज द गियर मच डिफरेंट फॉर टी20स नो नॉट रियली जस्ट द बैट्स बिकम लिटिल मोर बेटर Beta as in lighter or lighter, bigger blades? You no, know, depends on the batsman, obviously. But you know, for some people, like maybe Russell gets a little bigger, and then for for me, it becomes a little smaller. So you know, quicker, lighter pickup is very important. Are you the types who gift away bats to young cricketers? Yes, ke le I always do that. अभी छोटे बच्चे तो ठीक है. I think there are so many guys in the Indian cricket team, especially the bowlers, who keep on asking for bats, and you know, you have to give it to them sometime. Who's the biggest, the most dangerous big hitter you've seen? probably say russell has been doing it from for some time now i think we ask him how do you get so big a man i say I, i train a lot man and i eat a lot man so that's how that's how he is and i hate a lot man and i hate a lot man yaar ye aami wala bachcha cricket mein kaise aa gaya bhai actually uh, if i have to say i think uh, it all started because uh, 
it was my dad's dream i never thought you know i'll become a cricketer when i was when i was a kid but, but i still remember dad uh, getting me one of those plastic bats and those plastic balls to play with maybe when i was very very small but w- what was it like yeah growing up as an army kid very regimented disciplined life if you talk about discipline yeah it was a really disciplined life dad was uh, not very strict as i would say but uh, he ha- he has his uh, agendas clear now there was a little bit of a time table the time table was to you know to to wake up get up you know and uh, get about get about about 5 o'clock uh, because sunrise at 6 o'clock so we start practicing at 6 o'clock in the morning till before school about 7 o'clock and then there was school starting after 8:30 till about 2 o'clock then again come back home do your homework maybe rest for a bit again uh, practice from uh, 4:30 to 5:30 and then go out and play with the other kids so maybe this was the the routine i had for for some years and kabhi to cheating ki hogi yaar routine mein kuch to matlab itne seedhe to nahi lagte yaar i don't think so because dad was there all the time you know dad was the one who used to bowl and you know you you would get the other jawans to come and you know help us out hmm. so it was a good uh, you know good uh, time there and great learning experiences as an army kid uh, you know the first thing you you have in your mind is that aapko jana hai army mein jana hai or uh, you know that's the uh, that's a basic idea you have because you like your father's uniform you like the way he uh, he is uh, like you know the lifestyle of an army officer and i think you you get attracted to that um, which i won't deny mujhe bhi bahut hua tha but i think you know after playing for state uh, after 14 after 15 years i think uh, the dream changed to becoming a you know again playing international cricket and you know, make a name for myself so, uh, some people say sh- sh- traveling shifting is not good but i would say i thought uh, that's one thing i really enjoyed about you know the army life that we kept on moving we kept on shifting bases uh, trying to learn something new from different culture from a different state have different set of friends and you know uh, and things like that so i think i was quite good uh, doing all that did you make friends with the orderly and said yaar papa ko mat batana ye galti ho gayi main rat ko 1 baje aaunga to bacha lena nahi nahi itna itna time to bilkul bhi nahi i think yeah, the latest i would have gone out was probably 10 o'clock back then 10 10 30 11 max so i think uh, but yeah orderly ke sath thoda thoda setting bahut zaruri hai kya tha setting uh, wohi ki dad ko mat bola aur agar kabhi pata lag gaya to mujhe yaad hai ki wo log pitho karke dad ne unko bhagaya tha aisi kaun si kahani chupai di usne papa se back then ek regiment tha jahan pe uh, uh, wo sab tanks rakhte the ek jagah pe to what we did was we just spoke to somebody and we just got in and play we jumping on the tanks we did that for two days because it was so amazing because we have, we have only Uh, seen those tanks in the in the movies like border mein jaise aap sunny dal ko dekh <laughs> that jawan did not speak to me for for about a month's time because you know because of me he he got that punishment you never got hit no i never got hit because of cricket no never what did you get hit for maybe studies not doing my homework yaar ye pressure hota na padhai likhai ka ek to army life uh ek regiment follow karna hai discipline rehna hai sahi khana hai 5 baje uthna etc aur phir cricket bhi hai which needs another kind of commitment to usme padhai likhai kahin हो दी गई या क्या था सीन पढ़ाई लिखाई का गर्मी की छुट्टी के बाद क्रिकेट चलता रहे क्रिकेट चलता रहेगा फिर दिसंबर जैन जब पहुंचेगा तो यू नो धीरे धीरे बुक्स खुलना शुरू होगी तो जैन फेबो मार्च ये तीन महीने से होते हैं जब आप पूरा दिल लगा के पढ़ाई करते हो एंड देन यू कीप पुशिंग एंड देन ओपन लाइक यू नो डैड हैज आल्सो बीन माय ट्यूटर एक्चुअली वंस इन अ वाइल ही वुड कम एंड यू नो डू सम सब्जेक्ट समथिंग लाइक साइंस एंड मैथ्स एंड ही ही वुड डू दैट एंड देन मॉम वुड कम विद यू नो ऑल द सोशल साइंस एंड ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स एंड हिंदी एंड यू नो a little bit of english so i think yeah, they have been my coach coaches even in cricket even my academics also but you had to make a lot of sacrifices to reach here oh yes definitely family functions festivals etc as i say because of uh, my cricket after the exams you know normally people will go home go visit their mom dad they go to their you know village gaon mein jaate hain sabke sath baat karte hain i think that's something that i have missed i have i've seen my my parents miss that uh, quite a bit even like functions If you talk about functions. You are talk about sacrifices. I would not say it was sacrifice, but I think uh, you know, not going to your sister's wedding is a crime. I'm really, really, like, truly sorry for that. You know, I, I, I normally any uh, sane brother would not do it, or anybody would not do it. But what happened was uh, we were in the the, the quarterfinals. I think we were playing game in Hubli uh, for Kanhaiya. It was the first class game, and I and I had missed about three games before that because of an injury. Uh, the selectors told me that you know, come and play this match. It's quite important match for you know, for all of us. And you know. It'd be nice if he start winning the knockouts. It was quite bad, but I had to miss uh, my sister's wedding because of uh, because of that. Was there a dramatic they, scene at home? They would say like, "What? Really, I'm not coming and all that." But but eventually they all understood, you know, that where I come from. Even because because we had made enough sacrifices till then, then then it was part of another sacrifice. It was just another small story in that sacrifice book. Nainital, Nashik, Rajasthan, Bengaluru. Dil kitne tode bhai? 
और फिर वहाँ से आपको निकलना पड़ता था ऑब्वियसली और उस टाइम पे उतना फोन का भी चक्कर भी होता था तो जस्ट थिंक अबाउट वॉट विल यू डू नाउ जस्ट मे बी लेटर लिखना पड़ेगा एक दूसरे को एंड देन वी थिंक अबाउट बट वी वे वेरी वेरी स्मॉल सो वेरी वेरी किडिश बिहेवियर दैट वे Tell me about that one heartbreak that that scarred you for life. Could be actually uh, Devlali only. We you know we were leaving and then it, back then we, we, were, we were traveling in train, so you know it was a journey and a couple of offices and all the their families and kids have come and you know then you will see your special one also there and then it was like a DDLJ ka scene where you <laughs> where you outside the gate is like okay bye, chalo see you. So then Bahu ji beech me a gaye. Bahu ji beech me a gaye and then he. लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ग्रोइंग अप इन इन बेंगलुरु एंड एंड द क्रिकेटिंग सर्कल्स यर का बहुत अलग कल्चर है यहाँ पे क्रिकेट का As I said, the pehli baar main I started to play 17 here. I thought, you know, I'm 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 an outsider. Log kaise treat karenge? And then there was a time when they used to say, if you play for Karnataka, you have to know this language. Otherwise, you know, it, it gets difficult for you. So yeah, there was a hard work to actually learn that language. You know, making sure that people around me in the dressing room are talking in that language, not in English or Hindi with me. And you know, I, I just used to. I remember asking them questions. Boy, iska matlab kya hota? Iska matlab kya hota? So I think, yeah, slowly, slowly, then we learn this language. So it was a little bit of struggle the first couple of years. But I think once you start playing, and then you your bat talks, you you know, you start performing, you you start scoring runs, then you know, things become a little more easy. Uh, especially when I was a kid, when I was to look up to one cricketer, then that would be Rahul Dravid. You know, I was always a big fan of him, and um, I just thought the way he was disciplined towards his game and his life, I thought it was. It was really good, and the time when I came here and then I played with him in the Ranji Trophy first time, um, and then played for RCB for a year. It was a great experience to you know share that kind of a uh, story with, with with a legend like that of the game. Especially when I was under 19, till then, till then I used to you know love to watch him bat. He used to stand in first slip, and then you know when I st- started coming to the side in a couple of games later, I started standing in second slips, and then I was like, it was like. And I would look at him, and I would look at the bowler. I would look at him, and I would look at the bowler. So that that feeling was, you know, very very surreal, and uh, you know, that's something I still cherish. One conversation that you remember with him? Uh, the conversation was, I think, I was not getting runs a couple of matches, and then uh, then I just went up to him and said, you know, Rahul Bai, this is what's happening, and um, you know, I'm just not feeling it, at, at, because this was all, Ranji Trophy was all new. The first cl- cricket was all new for me. So I think when I did that, and then a couple of words from him, you know, it's about uh, how you have normally played your game in under 19 cricket. Just don't try and change your game from that. The way you have batted under 19, uh, the, the the way you have played your under 22s, they still bat the same way. Um, you know, and you know, don't try to be over defensive. Don't try to play over flamboyant. Uh, just just continue the way you've been playing, and you'll get runs. And then very next game, I got a hundred, and I got a 194. Against UP, and he was there uh, batting, batting with me. He got a hundred that game, and you know, I just again went to him and saying, you know, thank you for uh, the little advice. And then from then on, I think I've not really changed my game in whatever matches I've played. Let's go back to that wonderful day, second of March, two thousand and eight, the under nineteen final. Yeah. Um, interesting thing about that day, I think before that, uh, Dave uh, was our coach, and then you know, we were sitting uh, together, all of us, uh, in a, in a small meeting room, and then Dave asked us to imagine two scenarios. One was uh, that we have lost the game, or uh, our eyes were closed, and we were just imagining that we have lost the game, and then you know, how we are feeling. how the atmosphere is on the ground how how sad we are in the dressing room and all that and by the time we finished that exercise then we we opened the eyes some of the guys were already crying and then they watched us to imagine the second scenario where we have won the game we are lifting the world cup trophy and we have the flags uh, uh, in our hand we are running with the flags on the ground and and we did that and i think i, I think that uh, that immense uh, 
the power from that visualization of what we had won the game and how we behaved i think that changed everything i think the way we were, we, we played that day was was really was really great i think we we came back as a team we all remember how the celebration was virat went berserk and yeah. so did Many the others guys were on the on the on the ground uh, sliding because it was a wet out field i think because it was very new to us you know i mean uh, very few uh, live games we had played before that so i think uh, being on tv and that and 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 the and the idea of you knowing that people are watching from back home and you know the support you have got so far and you have won the world cup i think it was it was amazing and then everybody had fun that that ipl 100 must have been a game changer in your own head so you know what i i did it, did it unlock something in you at 100 uh, maybe yeah you could say that you know maybe the the confidence level maybe uh, the way i was thinking about the game maybe uh, maybe whatever if i was scared before batting before that till that i think all of those things little things have maybe did change after that 100 because you know that may, would have given me a immense confidence what are your memories of that 100 uh i still remember i mean uh, uh, somebody got injured or i think we we lost a couple of games and then uh, anil kumble was the co- uh, the the captain of the team and then i was sitting in the front of the bus and then after the practice session he just he comes up to me and said uh, in kannada he says ena pa ready dia so is, that means uh, what boss are you ready for tomorrow oh. and i was like uh, maybe so so this is like okay something clicked and I was like yeah man i said yeah and and by yes i am i'm ready for tomorrow and then again after 2 minutes he turned up and said you might be opening the batting tomorrow so i was like whoa so yeah it was kind of a, you know like a small jhatka to me Now, getting into the Indian team for the first time with a few big guns around, who was that one person who, who you found a lot of confidence from? I think MS. MS, I can relate to because uh, you know he has that kind of a mindset, which which I I know I can talk to him freely. I can talk to him about anything. He also has that kind of a army kind of a background. You know, he comes from that. Uh, he has the honorary post of a lieutenant colonel. No? Yeah. So I think you know, and the way he talks and the way he. Uh, you know speaks about certain things about the game and even the lifestyle i kind of relate to it i mean we we sometimes we have we have sat and spoken about the army and the you know the things that we have done uh, luckily he was there in uh, zimbabwe uh, he was the captain uh, and then you know it was quite easy for me to you know go to him i had also played a couple of ipl games games against him uh, so i kind of knew him a little bit so yeah on and on he was very helpful so how much has your game changed since making the india debut um uh, Uh, not a lot i think you know i've uh, i've played in a certain way from my 17 from my 19 i think i would have i would want to continue the, uh, batting the same way uh, it, i've i've scored runs batting that, uh, that in that kind of a fashion you know i've always want to you know score runs in a probably possibly every ball even the first ball if i if i feel uh, you know it's my day then i'll probably go for it they say aggression is the new calmness uh, i haven't ever seen you mouth expletives and you know all this television friendly bravado yeah what's your take on all that different people have different uh, you know uh, attitude towards it uh, i like to keep it inside uh, you know what i f- sometimes i feel i'm too, i'm i'm scared to bring it out because I, then if it ha- it has happened then i don't know where the limit is so no i'm i don't want to cross that limit so i just want to keep it inside all the time there are dreams that come true and there are those that don't now your dream has come true of course you got a long way to go as well but was there ever a thought ke yaar army mein nahi gaya cricket if it doesn't work out what is my fallback plan what's my option what career did you look at another career ever no see as as i said you know the 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 priority was cricket and then second thing was the army i'm pretty sure the army would have happened mm-hmm. the army lifestyle is i think that that's something that always pulled me you know towards it and i would have i would have done that anyway i'm pretty sure even if i failed once i would have tried second time and then i would have gotten it i'm sure is there a joke in the group ever ke bhai bahut good style kahan se aa raha hai look boss what am i wearing <laughs> Where is this fashion sense coming from? Do no, you follow I, the latest trends on the internet? No, I, no, I really don't. But I just feel that you know what could probably look good on me, and I, I just. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's the other way around. You know, I feel myself wearing a very loose shirt, purposely a loose shirt. You know, my hair all messed up, but obviously, cap is important. But you know, 
I uh, you know I, and I I enjoy doing that. I know I don't have to be you know perfect all the time. So are you the Ranveer Singh of the cricket in the cricket? No, I, no I would not take myself so far. But I think you know it's <laughs> it's it's I think, you know yeah I, I don't I don't wear it to show anybody. Uh -huh. But so it's just for my satisfaction. Does mom never say stop buying clothes? There is no space in the house. There was a there was a point yeah there was a point where uh, you know when we were growing up we were in our early twenties and you know we want to buy everything in. Everything and anything we see uh -huh. uh, in the stores could be watches and shoes and you know everything. My old house, where the point was, you know, it was all stacked up and there was no more space for the new bags I had gotten. So, so yeah, the day mom said uh, she made me sit in the boss. Uh, she's like, you know, I know you're earning, it's your money and all that, but it's important that you know you use it wisely. There, there's no space in the wardrobe. Where would you want to put it? Who's the worst dressed cricketer in India? I don't think so. There's anybody. I don't think so because people playing for India. I'm pretty sure everyone has a lot of uh, you know big. They're big on fashion. They uh, buy expensive clothes, but not everyone can carry off stuff, right? So I'm sure there's someone no, who I, needs your help. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm, I'm still gonna deny that. Batting I think, partner, come fashion consultant. No, I think everyone's really smart there. You know, everyone's, uh, you know, everyone's. If not, I think every everybody looks better than each other you know, at, at any given day. The one thing you would never want anyone to borrow or steal from your uh, closet? Uh, obviously, my pair of, uh, you know. Say it. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> <laughs> Is food a concept that's evolved a lot in your life from your Rajma Chawal, Chana days at home to now being a top level sports person? Uh, see, genetically, I'm a little blessed, you know, thanks to my mom, dad. So whatever I eat, I, it doesn't really show up on me as, as much. But I think lately, about a couple of years now, I've I've started to you know eat eat right. I've I've tried to uh, you know push myself to you know eat as as good as much as good food as I can. But if fitness diet wasn't an issue, what is that one thing you would want to eat every day of your life? Maybe ice creams all day. Yeah, uh, ice creams all day. Ice creams and cakes all day. And once shadi happens, uh, will you be okay with the lady eating? Because I, I don't know if she's someone who is very yeah, fitness. After that, she'll be part of the family. I'm probably going to look at her the same way I look uh, look at my mom and dad when they eat a lot. So, she's going to watch this program. Yeah, You're going to give her dirty looks <laughs> when she's I eating will. food. Of course I will. Oh, maybe I, maybe I, I won't. I don't know. Have you thought about getting married? You're 29 now. This... Yeah, I, I, I will be. I think maybe sometime soon. I think it's high time. Maybe by 30, I should be, I should be married. Safe to assume you found the one. Uh, yeah, you have found the one. Yeah, we are, we are on the verge of, uh, you know, getting to know each other, and maybe sometime soon. Paneji, time to test your spicy quotient. They are? Yeah. Okay. Army life, civilian life? Army life. What would you do if you were not a cricketer? Uh, I would be in the army. Your morning ritual? Uh, wake up, do my affirmations, um, have a healthy breakfast. Chinnaswami or Eden Gardens? Chinnaswami. Chinnaswami or Uppal? Chinnaswami. <laughs> Virat or Dhoni? Dhoni. Gautam Gambhir or Kane Williamson? Uh, I think I would go with uh, Gautam Gambhir. The Bond series or the Batman series? Uh, the Bond series. Riding a bike or driving a car? Riding a bike. Switzerland or Nandi Hills? Switzerland. <laughs> Music or PlayStation? PlayStation. Rahul Dravid or Sachin Tendulkar? <laughs> Rahul Dravid. <laughs> home food, hotel food? Home food. Favorite home food? Radma, Chawal, Chana and Roti. IPL 100, Under-19 World Cup? Uh, IPL 100. I see lots of kids around. One message for them? Uh, I think one message would be uh, stay humble first, then just keep doing the hard work, be healthy, stay healthy, eat healthy, do all the healthy stuff as you can. And uh, yeah, a lot of hard work in life. Do people mis misunderstand you? They do, yeah, I think uh, they do um, until they talk to me. I think after they speak to me and they get close to me and then they say, no man, this guy is the same, yeah, he's not changed, he's a nice guy, he's a very humble guy, then I'd like to keep it that way.
Thank <laughs> you.